But we just finished a series on the book of Galatians. And today we're going to start a new series on the book of Ephesians. And I'm really excited about it. It was really fun studying Ephesians again. But while Pastor Nate is getting my computer running, let me go ahead and give you a little introduction to the book. Is that all right? So what happens is, is Ephesians is also written by the Apostle Paul, just like Galatians. You got my password? Good job. Nobody saw my password, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yoshi was filming there over my wife. So. <laughs> and Paul, before he was a Christian, he was one of the greatest persecutors of the church of the day. But then you know the story, right? He was on the road to Tarsus, I mean to Damascus. He's from Tarsus. And Jesus encountered him. And then after that, his life was never the same. He went from being a persecutor to one of the most amazing assets the church has ever had. Is this going to work? Let's see. You ready? You ready? Well, that is the same screen, so let's see here. Yes! Thank you. Okay. When we, when we think of the book of Ephesians, I want you to memorize something. Three simple words will summarize the entire book. The first one is this. Sit. Sit. All right, are we going to do this in English or Japanese? Let's, let... hey, this is international. Let's try English. Is that okay? <laughs> Portuguese. Okay, sit. Everybody say sit. 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 Good. The next word is walk. Okay. Walk. 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 All right, that's number two. The third word is stand. You ready? Stand. Everyone, everyone say stand. Stand. No. Stand. Okay, so I'm going to put some, some hand motions to this, all right? Everyone go like this. Sit. Okay, now you say walk. Walk. And go like this. Stand. Stand. Okay? It's very childish, I know. <laughs> sometimes children, they just learn things better than adults do, right? So if someone says, hey, what's the book of Ephesians about? What are you going to say? That's it. That's the whole book. Thank you guys for coming to church today. And for the next six weeks, we have no service because that's the whole book of Ephesians. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here we go. Introduction, all right? In chapter one. Today we're going to look at and give a rough introduction to the book of Ephesians, and we're going to look into chapter one. It's very exciting. I love it. The first question we need to answer is this, what is this? This book, what is it? So in Japanese, it's very, very clear that it's a tegami, it's a letter, right? So it's a letter that the apostle wrote to the church in the city of Ephesus. So where is this place, Ephesus? We're going to do a little trip around the world. Is that okay? We're going to zoom out here. And zoom out grab this globe. Turn I did this last week and my mom was like, wow, how do you do that? <laughs> Turkey, Greece. And we're zooming way in here, and the book, the city of Ephesus is very close to this little town here called 
Selsuk or something like that. I'm not sure if that's pronunciation. Selsuk っていうね、街がここにあります。そこのそばです。So this is currently the the country of Turkey. トルコのね、現代のトルコの場所になります。But there's a lot of biblical Really big importance in this area. この場所っていうのはすごく、ね、聖書が書かれたの使徒の働きの時の場所です。So、以前の,の,、ね、の2000年前の地図になるとこ,、so、here, here ここにエペソがあります。Now, それ以外の名前、地名、わかりますか何でしょうスミルナ、ペルガモン。アイアタラ、サーディス、フィロデルフィア、ライオデシア。Where do we see this in the Bible? これどこで見つけることはできますか ?The book of Revelations, that's exactly right. ヨハネの目視録ですね。We're not studying Revelations today. 目視録学ぶわけじゃないですよ、今日。But Ephesus was the first of the seven churches in the book of Revelations. エペソは目視録に書かれている7つの教会の最初に書かれている、ね、教会です。And this city was very impressive. このね、町っていうのはものすごくね、興味深い町です。It was, it was その当時ですね、世界で最も、ね、栄えていた町の一つだったんです。Like、もう現代の東京とかニューヨークぐらいね、もう最大の町だった。It was very famous. すごく有名で。There was a lot of, of business negotiations happening there from around the world that go there to Ephesus to do these things. たくさんのですね、ビジネス、商業が、ね、行われる中心地だったんです。And it was a city that had people from all over the world living there. もう世界中からね、そのエペソに集まって、商業を行っていたんです。Or at least all of the, the known world of the day. <笑>その当時、ね、知られていた世界でということですけど、ね。I don't think there were any Japanese living there. I'm not sure. その当時ね、日本人はね、そこにはまだいなかったんじゃないかな。And I'm not so sure that there were Brazilians there either. It's just too far. ブラジルの人も多分いなかったんじゃないかなと思います。But another thing that the city of Ephesus is really famous for ものすごくね、有名な。was the goddess Artemis or Diana, depending on who's saying it. このね、えー、エペソという町はダイアナとかね、アルテミスっていう女神でよく知られてたんです。So the, the, the Greeks And the,、uh, and the Romans, they call it different names, but this is God,、uh, Artemis, the god of the Ephesians, that they used to call out. The word is the word of the Greek word, but it's the word of the Greek word. It's the word of the Greek word. It's the word of the Greek word. And there was this temple for the god of Artemis there that was massive. このアルテミスの神殿というのはものすごく大きかったんです。It's all been torn down because of wars, and there's like one pillar standing today. <笑>もう戦争とかでね、これ焼け落ちてしまって、今日では一本しかね、残ってないんです。But it was larger than an official soccer field. これはですね、サッカーの競技場よりも広いんです。And the city of Ephesus, they had a lot of idol worship, but this was the main one right here. たくさんのね、偶像礼拝の場所があったんですけど、ここがメインのね、神殿だったんです。And one thing, she is the, the goddess of, of fertility. これですね、豊穣の神と言われてたんです。And,、uh, and so they would go there, and there was like hundreds, maybe even thousands of temple prostitutes that worked in this building. その当時ですね、ここもう何百、もしかしたら何千ものですね、その神殿にいた。男性とかね、えー、そういう娼婦の人とかがいたんです。Yeah, 女,性ね、男性と、ね、女性両方とも娼婦の人がいたんです。で、このですね、アルテミスの女神の,んあの像っていうのをですね、この海のところまで運んでパレードしたんです。そしてその海の中に一回入れて、それをもう一回出して。And this action was, they believe it would somehow restore her virginity or something like, weird like that.、ねね、But then after this parade, it was a massive party of orgies and the worst things you can imagine.、ねねね、Another interesting thing about the, the city of Ephesus is this, these are ruins of a couple temples they had. Worshipping the emperor of Rome. これですね、エペソにある、まあ、一つ遺跡の一つなんですけれども、ローマの皇帝をまた崇拝して礼拝してた場所だと言われています。So because they were under Roman rule, it was very important that they would burn incense and worship the Roman emperors. 
ちろんローマのね属州だったのでそのローマの皇帝に対してたくさんですねこのお香をあげたりその礼拝するっていうのは大事だったんです。その当時ですね、クリスチャンにとってはそれが大きな問題だった。To the, to the area, market, その当時ですね、そのあのマーケットに行ってね、市場に行って買い物しようとしたら、そこの,です、ね、このいろいろ買い物をしようとしたら、でそこのですね、このお香があってですね、それを捧げて、えー、ローマの皇帝をね、崇拝すると。クリスチャンはもちろんそれをしなかったと思います。So、でクリスチャンでいる、クリスチャンとしてその場にいるのはすごく難しい町だったんです。ですけれども、この町っていうのは、もうクリスチャンがですね、キリスト教のクリスチャンがもう多く、成長した教会が多く建てられた場所だったんです。エストパウロはですね、この町に他のどの年よりも長く滞在したんです。2年半から3年ぐらい滞在したと言われています。And this time, でもその当時ですね、このすごい短い期間でそのアジアという、ね、言われる場所を全域に。福音が述べ伝えられたんです。So、then he's, uh, uh, Paul is, is there, he's teaching, the church is growing. パウロ、シトパウロが、ね、教えて、教会が成長して。And, and then eventually, because of persecution, he has to run away for his life. で、ね、迫害が起こったので、シトパウロは逃げなければいけなかったんですが。And then a little later, he writes a letter back to this church. で、そのですね、迫害で、ね、追われて、そのエペソの町を去った後で、エペソの人々に対して手紙を書いたんです。And this is the letter that we're going to be studying. それが、このですね、エペソビーというのは手紙の内容なんです。And it's awesome, awesome, 素晴らしい内容です。And we can summarize it in three words, right? ね、これ、ようやく3つの言葉にようやくできますよね。Number one. 1つ目は、Good job. Good job. Number two. 2つ目、Number three. ね、3つ目は、タッチボールですね。One thing we need to think, remember about this, these people that lived in Ephesus, the Christians. クリスチャンの当時のです、ね、エペソに住んでいたクリスチャンのことを考えるに、Is when we look at the book of Revelations and the letter that Jesus wrote to them, we can understand something very important about them. The Ephesian church, they were hard workers. They were very zealous about the things of God. But who remembers the one thing that God had against them? ですけれども、一つだけ避難するところがあると、イエス様は言ったのは何だったんでしょう彼らは最初の愛を忘れてしまったと言ってるんです。So、the kind of that I fall into. それはですね、私,が陥り私もね、時々落ちてしまうことなんです。I want to do things for God all the time. ね、神様のためにね、すべてを値下げてやるんだと。Wake up in the morning thinking about things I can do. ね、そして朝が起きてね、イエス様とことやるんだ。And I forget そして忘れてしまうのは、before I walk, I need to sit down. And that's what Paul is saying. Stop, slow down, sit. You're not going to get things from God by walking, you're going to get them by sitting. And that was, I just have a little slide here, the book of Revelation is that where we discovered this amazing truth. これですね、ヨハネの目視録で見つけることができる素晴らしい神の啓示です。これはエペソの教会について書かれているその大事なエッセンスなんです。Okay, you guys ready? 準備はいいですか今日はですね、座るということについて話します。And、it's like the first three chapters is all about sitting. <笑>最初の3章ですね、全部座るということはどんなことかって書かれてます。So, so So, no one's allowed to stand up during the service. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can stand up all you want. All right, here we go. Ephesians chapter 1. And let's go ahead and start right here. Paul, he wrote it, an apostle of Christ. And the first couple of verses, a very traditional introduction that Paul gives in almost all of his letters. ほとんどのですね、パウロが書いた手紙にこういう最初のね、序文の挨拶があります。But let's go to verse three here. Blessed be God, our,、uh, blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. これが書かれているのは三節、ね。私たちの主イエスキリストの父である神が褒めたたえられますように、神はキリストにあって
天上にあるすべての霊的祝福を持って私たちを祝福してくださいました。Two things in this verse we cannot miss. If you miss these two things, you will not understand the book of Ephesians. Number one is that we are blessed. This blessed right here. What does blessed mean? It's just like a word that we say a lot. It's like blessed. ね、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑
I've been chosen. まだそうね確信が持てないからねもうちょっと強めに叩いてください。When you feel like you're just completely alone. もしねあの孤独で寂しいという方は。When you feel that just life isn't worth living. ね、もう人生というのは生きるに値しないとかって思っちゃってる方は。Say, ね、もうドンと叩いてね、私選ばれたってね。痛みがあればあるほどね、確信が持てるんじゃないかなと思います。Right. So、then, him, ね、子と人と人と人と人と人このイエス・キリストの血によるあがないという言葉があります。Redemption is a, is a big word. If you're a Native American, you will not understand the word redemption in English. Redemption、uh, is a big word. If you say it in Portuguese and you have no church background, head in s o n you're not going to understand that if you have no church background. If you have no church background, 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 what about Japanese? Is it a common word? If someone has never been to church, will they understand this word? Probably not, right? Well, it's very simple. ね、We looked at it in the book of Galatians also.、ね、it just means to purchase back.、ね、Because we, we, we were in our sins. And by the blood of Jesus, we were purchased back. And that's what redemption means. And his, it's through the riches of his grace, sorry, I did not underline it here. And what does the word grace mean? Grace is, is you know, another one of those words that we just say all the time. You know, amazing grace. Grace, 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 g It just means that we're receiving something that we didn't do anything to deserve.、ね、so he chose us out. He paid the price, redemption.、ね、And all of this is just the riches of his grace that he lavishes upon us.、ねねね、When I see this word lavish, it's the way my wife puts syrup on her pancakes. Lavish is the way my wife puts syrup on her pancakes. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like, would you like some, a half a pancake with that syrup? I'm not sure. <laughs> It's, It's baptism by immersion. That's right. <laughs> I mean, by the time she's finished eating the pancake, it's, there's still like half of the syrup there on the plate. <laughs> you know, like, what are you going to do? Pick it up. <laughs> you know, like, what are you going to do? Pick it up. He lavishes this undeserved favor on him. And all of that he does because we've been purchased back to him. それは私たちがあがなわれたものであるからです。And that's number two in your outline. それがね、二つ目、ハンドアウトの二つ目です。私たちはあがなわれました。漢字がちょっと違いますけどね、あがなわれました。Maybe a difficult word to learn, but boy, that is important. この言葉は難しいですけれども、でもね、あがなわれた。If you don't learn anything about the Bible, please learn this word. This is a good one. の言葉、すべて忘れたとしても、このあがなわれた、あがないという言葉を覚えてください。If you truly understand this word and you receive this redemption, that's all you need to be saved. That's it. That's it. このあがないという言葉、ね、それが私たちが、ね、唯一必要なものだと言ってもいいくらいです。Alright, say I've been redeemed. 言ってください。私はあがなわれた。Okay, alright, it's gonna move down here a little bit. In him, this is another blessing that we have received, okay? ね、we have obtained an inheritance. 
私たちは御国を受け継ぐものとなりました。I love, I love inheritance, don't you? あの遺産、ね、受け継ぐものでいいじゃないですか。I mean, I do. I really love inheritance. すごくね、あの喜ばしいものです。Um, my, my family was never very rich. 私の家族はそんなにね、裕福ではないですけど。Uh, but I did receive a little bit of inheritance. でもね、私は少しね、この受け継ぐ遺産がありました。And because of this inheritance, I was able to graduate from a private university in the States debt free. ね、そしてそのね遺産のおかげで私は大学をそのねお金払わずに、えー、卒業することができました。卒業した後はねお金なくなっちゃったんですけど。I remember one time we were like, hey, let's go camping. That's cheap. じゃあキャンプに行こうねお金そんなかんないから。All right, let's see how much money do we have? じゃあお金どれぐらいあるって聞いた。How much do we have? Twelve dollars. 1200円ぐらいだったんですね。Nope, we're not even going camping. That's not enough. キャンプはちょっと行けないかなっていうね。But inheritance, I didn't do anything to deserve the inheritance. I was, I just received it because I was a son of my father and my mother. And the Bible says that we are co heirs with Christ. Alright, now we've, we've、uh, talked about inheritance before. 以前、その遺産を受け継ぐということについて話しましたが、this, この共同相続者というのは、相続する人たちで半分子にするということじゃないんです。No, no. Receives, Christ, so、これは、キリストが受け継ぐものすべての私たちはそこに入れられて、すべてを共同で受け継ぐということ。So even if your parents left you nothing. ね、もし、ね、皆さんの、ね、ご両親が何も皆さんに残さなかったとしても、uh, maybe your parents left you debt. <笑><笑>もしかしたら、ね、借金を残してなかったとしても、But you have an inheritance in God. ですけれども、神にあっては豊かな、ね、受け継ぐべきものがあるんです。And that's number three in your handout. Is that we have received an inheritance.、ね、それが3番目です。私たちは相続を受けましたと。It's undeserved. これは、ね、私たちが受けるに値しない。We didn't do anything. それをね、何か受け取るために何か働いたことではないんです。It's just part of that lavish grace on us. 私たちの上にね、もう注ぎかけられた恵みってことです。And it's something that you do not receive by walking. You receive it. これも同じように、私たちがね、ウォーク、何か働いて仕事をして受けるべきものではないんです。Isn't that great? I mean, I like to rest. 素晴らしいことじゃないですか。ただ座って、ね、休息してるだけで受けると。Yeah, it's really fun to rest. 休むっていいことですよね。But I don't... The problem is, I honestly like to work more than rest, probably.、Yeah. <laughs> I love working. But every once in a while, I was like, stop, stop, stop. Turn off the phone. Close the computer. Just try to rest. You receive this inheritance by resting. この相続を受け継ぐんです。Okay, the last one here we're going to talk about is we're sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. 約束の聖霊によって承認をされましたって書かれています。Now, this seems really vague, right? これちょっと曖昧な言葉じゃないですか ?What does that mean? どんな意味でしょう Be sealed by the Holy Spirit. 承認をされたってどんなことでしょうね ?I mean, when you think of seal, what comes to mind? 承認をすってどんなイメージがありますか ?A hunkle. That's right. 日本語で、ね、言ったら、ね、スタンプ、ハンコですよね。In, in States, <笑>アメリカでは、ね、そのスタンプってどういうことって、ね、If you think of a stamp, you know, what do you think of like a. If you're in Brazil, it's all the. <笑> the... <笑> at the cartorio, at the. At the.、Uh, at some of the legal offices, there's a bunch of stamps on the documents. ね、もう本当に公的な、ね、オフィスだったらこう、ね、事務所でだんだんと大きなハンコをされますよね。そういうのを想像する。But here in Brazil in Japan, it's so easy to understand a hanko, right? We all have one. 日本ではね、簡単ですよね。誰もが、ね、ハンコをしますから。So we've been hankled with the Holy Spirit. <笑>あの精霊のハンコをされた、スタンプをされたと。If everybody asks me, what's this dark thing on my forehead? And sometimes, sometimes, like, oh, is it dirty? Could you clean it for me, please? And so you get people going, but it's, it's a scar. <laughs> so as, as they're trying to clean it, as they're laughing at him, I think it's hilarious. <laughs>
Harry Potter? I don't know. Just Kyle oh, really? Oh, I'm a Christian. I don't watch Harry Potter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So what does it mean to be sealed by the Holy Spirit? Well, who is the Holy Spirit? The Bible says the Holy Spirit is to us. He is our helper. He brings the conviction of sin when we're doing something wrong. But he also comforts us. When I lost my father when I was 13, I felt that very strongly. There is nothing like the comfort of the Holy Spirit when you really need it. He's also our advocate. Isn't that awesome? He's also, he gives us spiritual gifts. But today, let's talk about this idea of the, the seal, because that's what it says here, sealed. And just by the way, if you're following the outline, that's number four. We've received the Holy Spirit. Okay, but what is the Holy Spirit? The Bible says we've got Father, Son, Father, God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? Where's the Father? He's in heaven. Where's Jesus? He's in heaven. Where's the Holy Spirit? He's right here. And this amazingly good looking body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. He is a good looking man. <laughs> Kenji, you don't, you don't even look like you're 65, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's very young. Um, he does like 5,000 sit ups a day. 600. That's the truth, though. 600 sit-ups a day. Tighten up. Ready? That's right. No violence. The Holy Spirit is in us. And because the Spirit of God is in us, let me ask you a question. Can your spirit be divided and be in two places at one time? Of course not. If your, half of your spirit leaves your body, you're probably going to drop down dead real quick. The spirit of God is also not divided. No, no, it doesn't divide. It unifies all the sons of God in oneness in Him. And that's why God is in every place all over the world because we're carrying Him with us. And this is the promised Holy Spirit that's inside of us. It gives us the strength to stand up against persecution. The Bible says the Holy Spirit was given to us as for us to be a witness. And the word witness, the origin, is the same as the word martyr. So back in the early church, when someone received the Holy Spirit, they knew I'm probably going to die for Jesus, and that's okay. So that's the Holy Spirit inside of us. And we were dead in our sins before the Holy Spirit gave us life. So even though this may be sometimes the more difficult to comprehend, infinitely more than anything else, it, it's this right here, God inside of us. It's kind of like it's the, it's the hunk, it's the final. Are you done? Let me sign it here. All right, so... Um, this is the first part of chapter 1. And the rest of the chapter, Paul is trying to say something very important. He's trying to say, listen, I really want you to understand what I'm saying. 
ね、And then he continues on here. Um, that he worked in Christ, God worked in Christ when he was raised from the dead and seated, seated him at the right hand of the heavenly in places. Heavenly places. He's saying, listen, Jesus, yes, he died. But he was raised from the dead. He was seated at the right hand of the Father. He wasn't walking at the right hand of the Father. He was seated at the right hand of the Father. And this position in which he was seated was far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come. So he says, this position that Jesus is in, you can't compare it with anything. It's above everything you could possibly imagine. Yes, Christ is in the place, 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 Everything is submitted to Jesus. And then he says this, and he, and he put all things under his feet, the feet of Jesus, and gave him, Jesus, as head over all things to the church. So the church is his body and it's the fullness of him who fills all in all. We know that the church is not some building. The church is all of us who have received Jesus in our lives. We are the body of Christ. We fill the body which fills the, the fullness of Him who fills all in all. That's us. So if we are the body of Christ, and Christ is seated, Why are we trying to just do things by ourselves in time and walk? We're seated with Christ in heavenly places. And and we're going to look more about this in chapter 2 next week also. Now that is chapter 2, but uh, chapter 1. My, my beautiful daughter helped me with this illustration today as we close, okay? I, I asked her to, to, to make this paper as ugly as she possibly could. <laughs> She's actually becoming a very good artist, but I said, make it ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> And then after she made it really ugly, I said, crumple it all up. So this is my daughter's attempt to make this paper as ugly as possible. <laughs> okay, so, so this represents us, right? Ugly was sin. Crumpled up by Satan and everything that sin brings. We were thrown out, ready to, to go to hell. It's all we deserved. What's the first thing that on our outline today? We were, we were chosen. While we were still dead in our sins, God said, I, I choose you. I choose you. そして、
そして、ね、この罪にまみれた私たちを。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ね、あなたは私に属するだけじゃなくて、私が全てあなたにあげるよ。I think that's a prophetic thing right there, the Japanese colors. Isn't that amazing? That's right? Technically, it's not red, but it looks close enough to me. And we're stamped. And he says, you know what? No matter what the devil says about you, doesn't matter what sin you've done in the past, the Holy Spirit, right? He's our advocate. He says, what, accuser of the saints? You want to say something about Josiah? Here's a document right here. He's sealed with the Holy Spirit. And all of this was received before I did anything. It was received while I was sitting. I love this book! Amen? Amen?